Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Daniel. I think this is part 11. It's either part 10 or 11. I think it's part 11. In this video, we're gonna build a basic switch. So it's like a toggle switch. Like, it can be like, do you agree to our terms of service? If you do, we can turn it on or off. We can say yes, we, can, we agree to the terms or whatever. We're gonna do a little bit of logic around that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go up to new, new project and we'll call, make sure basic activity is selected. We'll call this my application is fine. This can be com.example, um, not a dot at the end. We'll call this uh, terms of service. I should have done this before. Terms of service, okay. Now make sure it's, you select Kotlin there and then uh, make sure you select Android X. Go ahead and finish that and it'll open up the project and give it a couple of seconds or minutes and it will open up. I'm gonna go back and close this project because we don't need it anymore. And here we go. It looks like it went ahead and built. So there's nothing at the bottom there. So this is our screen. So what we need to do is go ahead and open up content main and I'm in design mode. Uh, I'm gonna open up the palette on the left. Then I'm gonna go to common and drag in a switch. So if I just drag that in somewhere, um, it'll it'll display there. You can just place it anywhere inside of main act, inside of content main. But in this case, we're using constraint layout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and drag let go, click, drag, let go. We'll just put it up in the top left, because why not? So save that, and let's just go ahead and run it. Just I like to run it very often just to make sure we don't mess anything up. I'm gonna just select that, okay, and we'll go back to the emulator and give it a second, and we should see it, and I think it should be able to toggle. Gradle finished, and here we are, yeah. So there's our switch, so we can turn it on or off. Now it has some options along with it. So I'm gonna go back to content main. I'm gonna select that. And if you go over to the left and open up attributes, you can see it has an ID, it has some margin left. It's got all kinds of stuff. What we wanna do is we wanna look for the text there and change the text. We'll call this, do you agree to our terms? And we'll go ahead and save that and run it. And wait a second and there it is. Uh, did I mess it up? Let's select that again, sorry. Did I, oh, I must have, not, must have not done something. Okay, so do you agree? Do you agree? We'll just call it do you agree. Now we'll do, do it with our terms. There we go, so do you, do you agree with our terms? I like running it very often, that way you can, you can just find uh, bugs faster. So do you agree with our terms, yes or no, there it is. So if, if the user turns it on, I wanna do something. I wanna display a button there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and drag in a button. And now this is not, probably not a very good UX decision. I don't know, it just kind of depends upon what your designer wants. But I'm gonna go ahead and click, drag, and we'll put a button there. And just wait a second, there it is. Now we're gonna use constraint layout to constrain it. So we'll click, drag, and go to the bottom of that. And then we'll click, drag, go to the bottom of that. So every time, so let's just go ahead and save it and I'll explain to you what we're gonna do. So let's wait for this to open up. And here it is. Do you agree with our terms? So if, the, if, the, if you do agree to our terms, I want to display the button. Otherwise, I don't want to display the button. Now this could be a little bit confusing and you might want to not necessarily do this, do it this way, but this is just for practice. And if that's what your designer wants or UX people want, go ahead and go for it. So here it is. Do you agree to our terms, yes or no? So what we need to do now is we need to get this terms and every time it's enabled, we want to show the button, but if it's disabled, we want to hide the button. So how can we do that? First, we need to give it an ID. So click on the switch there, and it has an ID of switch one. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that just so, just to keep the thing simple. And I'm gonna open up main activity. Now main activity is inside of app, Java, the first one, and then main activity. And this is gonna come with a lot of different code. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that. So it looks, you should be set up like this here. So this is, what, this is what it should look like. So just get rid of all the other code. You, you don't need it. This is, this is the good code you need. So I'm gonna go inside of uncreate and let's do, uh, what was it called? I always forget. It's called switch one. So we'll do switch one, one enter, dot. And then what do, what do we want to do every time this, on this switch, what can we do? We can type, I think it's like, um, what is it? Set on checked 
change oh, that's what it is on yeah it's set on check to change listener so go ahead and select that and hit enter 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 and we've already we've already done some debugging before but we'll do d we'll just do d daniel um and we'll do uh change or we'll, we'll call this listener we'll call this changed why not so it's giving us an error for the d go ahead and click on there and do alt enter or option enter on a mac and save that and so let's open up our log cat and let's go ahead and filter it by daniel so we have that there i'm going to save it and i'm going to run this and let's go back to our app and let's just see what happens so again we have the debug log cat opened up every time we yeah so it says change there so every time you change this every time you press this it's going to make a new it's going to make a new log there so we're actually successfully saying hey get our switch one every time it's checked every sorry every time it's checked then what i want to do is do all of this code here so notice that we want to we want to we show the button so we want to show the button only if it's selected so we have this is checked flag there so let's do let's just debug it for now we'll do dollar sign is checked enter and there it is so i'm going to go ahead and run it and i'm going to clear the log cat just clear the log cat there go back to the emulator and we'll just gonna switch it back and forth and now it says true change true click it again changed false click it again change true false i mean it'll just go back and forth so now we can know whether or not it's whether it's checked or not so false means it's not checked true means it is checked so let's do a little bit of logic here let's do this i'll do if we'll do if is checked so if it's true if it's true then do this else do this so if this is a little bit confusing we're basically going to say hey do an if statement so all this is an if statement it's going to be like if it's checked do some code here if it's not do that code so let's go ahead and save that and let's go back to the emulator and i'm going to close that for now and we need to get the byte id of the button so it's just called button there so if it is checked then we'll do button dot visibility equals view dot visible otherwise if it's not checked we want to do button dot visibility dot uh, equals view dot gone so it'll be gone so we're saying uh sorry about that so we're saying yeah get the button set the visibility to it to either visible or gone so i'm going to save that let's run it one more time i'm going to hit the run button and i think this should be complete this should work but we can find out together so there it is and yeah so i know what's going on the first time you load the screen the button's going to be there so we can hide it when we first when the when the screen first loads but this is working so you can see hey you know if you agree to the terms you can see the button now and you can press on it and maybe start a new activity if it's not it's just going to be hidden so i want to do that one more time i'm going to press the run button and if we go to the app you'll notice that it's selected off but at the same time we see the button that's because we haven't interacted with it yet so what we can do is we can go to content main select the button and i think there's a visibility somewhere visibility and we'll do visibility to gone and that should make it go away so this should be complete actually so this should be it um let's see do you agree with the terms no we don't but yeah i read through the terms i agree to them turn the toggle on and now we have the button if we don't we don't see the button hopefully you've learned something if you have questions leave comments below on youtube um, you can check out me on linkedin um, I always love requests, so send me a LinkedIn network request. You can follow me on Twitter, um, and I'll try to produce these videos every weekend. So just subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. If you have suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you next time.